Greenville County deputies have just charged two teens with shooting a pizza delivery man in the head last night. The charges came late this afternoon, and News 13's Evan Donovan was there. Evan, how did deputies make the arrest so quickly? Well, deputies say they got a tip from someone who witnessed the incident, which has left one young man in the hospital and two juvenile boys facing serious charges, including attempted murder. Last night, just after 11 p.m., in the Valley Brook neighborhood off Augusta Road, deputies say a delivery driver who worked at this pizza hut was flagged down by two teenagers who pointed a gun at him and demanded his money. The driver attempted to take off, and as he did, the juvenile uh, fired at least one shot, striking the victim in the head area. Uh, the victim was able to drive back to the Pizza Hut where he was able to call 911 at that point. Deputies say the driver was conscious when they arrived at the Pizza Hut, which helped their investigation. He was able to communicate with investigators, and obviously any type of head wound is, is you're extremely lucky to, to survive a, a head injury. Robert Lyon lives in the Valley Brook neighborhood and woke up last night to the sound of gunfire. I usually go to sleep early, and I guess it was probably around right around 11 o'clock or so when I was in bed that I did hear a single gunshot, which sounded like it came from behind me, behind my house. Lyon just moved in a few weeks ago, but says he's heard mixed reviews about the area. And I've heard some things about the neighborhood, that uh, there are some trouble spots, and uh, of course most of the neighbors are wonderful. Late Tuesday afternoon, investigators got a break in the case that led to the arrest of two black males aged 14 and 15. Uh, investigators received a tip from um, a witness and they were able to follow up on that lead and, and locate these two juveniles. And deputies tell us that these two juveniles are facing charges of attempted murder, attempted armed robbery, conspiracy, and possession of a firearm while in commission of a violent crime. Because of their ages, their names and photos will not be released. Meanwhile, the young driver is still in Greenville Memorial Hospital in serious condition. Reporting live from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.